in his second altercation of the year and really caused some problems. Both benches ending as we see fights breaking out around. I uh, kind of protested the ball game because I didn't think it was fair for a guy to come off their bench and get in a fight with one of my regular players. I'd already made a number of moves to get it back in the ball game, so I was I now only had seven everyday players. Uh, so I had to put a pitcher in the outfield, and so I used my two short men. Uh, both of them are good athletes, and, and also wanted to do it too, uh, uh, because I'd, I'd seen Whitey Herzog do it earlier in the year with a left-hander in Morrell, and uh, I thought it would be interesting to try. Interesting to try and interesting to watch, as both McDowell and Orozco proved that they could do more than just pitch. Meanwhile, there were other Mets playing out of position too, like the 80th third baseman in Mets history, Gary Carter, who played a part in a patented Keith Hernandez play which helped save the game. Those plays, there's a runner on first and second, I don't have to hold a runner on. And that particular play, it was a pitcher that was just called up. He's probably nervous to death. I just more or less took it for granted. Well, I didn't take it for granted. I knew that he was going to bunt. There was no doubt in my mind that he was going to do anything but bunt. He did, and I went right there on top of the play. He didn't get it down the third base line enough. And to get it by me, they had to hit it hard on the third base line, and I take that away, and it's an easy two. After Keith